Hi everyone, this is Carolyn, and today we are journaling on John 14, 1, and I'll read it in the New King James Version. It says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. And today I am using a By the Well for God Bible journaling kit, the New Authentic Faith one. And I put some washi tape down. You saw that I put that on my skin before I put it down. This keeps it, when I hair dry it, it keeps it from um, adhering to the page and ripping it when I pull it up. So I just put some pink acrylic paint down and I'm gonna go in with just a darker color. And I'm gonna put some little splotches on. Um, not, not all over, but just to bring out some color into the page and that is just it's representing the colors that I see in the kit now one color darker and I'm also using a different shape brush for this one and I'm putting just even some more darker colors down it just gives it some depth I think and just helps bring it it, it kind of makes it pop and now I am just um, cleaning that up, I'll dry that off, and here comes the washi tape. And I love how that came off so easily in a straight line. Now, I, I always use that uh, cardboard backing, and I just turn it over because I painted it pink, and I wanted to make sure I stayed on the page. Someone told me that if you rub the, the new stamps on your hand, that it will help them adhere to the page better and so I did rub this stamp on my hand before I put it on the acrylic block and I'm putting it um, on black and you'll see in a minute I am so excited that when I put it down this one goes all the way down I do not need to stamp it again at all so rubbing it on your hand really does work. So thank you for the person who told me that. I so appreciate it because this stamp came out so beautifully. Um, in this uh, John 14 one in a different version, the New Living Translation, it says, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. Now I'm using some gelatos and um, I'm using like some a blue gelato and these I've never used these before um, but I really like them they're just like working with pastels I've worked with pastels before but these are more um, oily so I'm just coloring in the teacups onto this and then I'm going to take another color and fill that in so when you work with pastels or at least when I've worked with pastels, you don't always need to fill in the whole picture. You can blend them out or you can just give the illusion of it being filled in by, by putting little bits of color. And you'll see that it's not all the way filled in, but it looks filled in. So I love that about pastels. So I love these gelatos. And now I'm using some stamps from the kit and I am spelling out the word believe because how do we not let our hearts be troubled? It is through believing in God and that he keeps his word. There's a situation now that I'm going through where I just need to, where I've been just quoting a scripture and I just quote that scripture to myself every day and it helps me to know that God will work in this situation. Now I'm taking one of the cards from this kit. It's a beautiful, beautiful card and I'm writing my prayer on the back and it says, Lord, help me to believe in you and your power more than what I see around me. Help me to know not just in my head, but in my heart that you reign and your purposes are what will stand. Help my heart not to be troubled. In Jesus' name, amen. 
And so I am going to put this card down as a tip out as well. I've been doing that a lot like lately and I really, really like the tip outs. So I'm covering up the word believe. And then I thought, I want to put something else under here. And I want to represent myself under this, saying that I just need to believe. I need to quote the scripture and say that out loud. When the thoughts come about the situation, to quote the scripture, to quote the truth. In essence, speaking back to the storm with the truth of God's word. And so... I used this illustrated faith uh, print and pray girl and now I'm using the washi tape to make this tip out and I'll turn it over and put washi tape on the other side of it so that it will be like a hinge and on my last video I did this but the washi tape was thin and I had to put a couple of different layers of washi. So this one is thick enough that it's holding really well. So yeah, and I just clipped off the corners of it so that it, it worked well there. And now I am highlighting the verse. And if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button and subscribe for more Bible journaling videos.